set to walk in this door behind me tomorrow as Britain's next Prime Minister, realising a long-held ambition. He's won the race to become Conservative Party leader with more than 92,000 votes of Conservative Party members. His rival, Jeremy Hunt, polled just over 46,000. In a short acceptance speech, Mr Johnson declared that his mission was to take Britain out of the EU by the 31st of October and to reunite the country. The challenges he will face are formidable. Opposition from some of the party's most senior MPs and little sign that the EU is about to change its negotiating position. Here's our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, on the election of the man who tomorrow will become Britain's next Prime Minister. On the way to meet his fate, the position he'd so long dreamed of. On the way to hear whether he'd overturned what felt inevitable. How are you feeling about the results? Good. Do you think? Sound like calm. For as Johnson's supporters knew after a bumpy start, they'd the advantage. Feeling positive this morning. But as ever in politics, the actual result of the prize. It's not the result in that folder, is it? You will all find out the result when it's announced. Do you already know? Jeremy Hunt then grinning and bearing it. Mr Johnson may be wondering, what now? I give notice that Boris Johnson is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. A brief moment of where do I go now as the rest of the room got to its feet. A thumping majority for Mr Johnson, a knowingly controversial pick. There will be people around the place who will question the wisdom of your decision. Uh, and there may even be some people here who still wonder what, quite what they have done. <laughs> no one party, no one person has a monopoly of wisdom. But if you look at the history of the last 200 years of this party's existence, you will see that it is we Conservatives who have had the best insights. Talking as the Tory campaigner, complete with gags, Prime Minister with the most serious of tasks from tomorrow. At this pivotal moment in our history, we again have to reconcile two sets of instincts, two noble sets of instincts, between the deep desire for friendship and free trade and mutual support in security and defence between Britain and our European partners, and the simultaneous desire, equally deep and heartfelt, for democratic self-government in this country. Brexit's not impossible, he says. It can and must be done. Well, I look at you this morning and I ask myself, do you look daunted? Do you feel daunted? I don't think you look Do you feel daunted? I don't think you look remotely daunted. The people of this country are trusting in us to do it, and we know that we will do it. On the threshold of number 10, still entertaining this crowd. I know, I know some, some wag was already pointed out that deliver, unite and defeat was not the perfect acronym for an election campaign, since unfortunately it spells dud. But they forgot the final E, my friends, E for energize. And I say, I say to all the doubters, dude, we are going to energize the country. We're going to get Brexit done in a new spirit of can do. We are going to unite this amazing country. The campaign is over and the work begins. Thank you all very much.